Hey everyone, have you ever wanted to bring your drawings to life in 3D? Well, buckle up, because I'm about to show you a super cool tool called Stable Video 3D. This awesome tech from Hugging Face lets you take any image, like this adorable little creature here, and create a 3D turnaround video of it. But wait, there's more. It doesn't have to be cute critters. It can be literally anything you can imagine, in any style you want. Need some synthetic training data? Reference photos for your artwork? A turnaround view to build your 3D model from? Stable Video 3D has you covered? Think of all the time you'll save. A few minutes spent using this tool could be a huge time saver in the long run. Now, the results might not be perfect masterpieces, but for artists, 3D modelers, and comic creators, this can be a game changer. Imagine using Stable Video 3D to understand how your 2D sketch translates into 3D. Or picture yourself sketching over the output images to create comic panels faster than ever. And let's not forget the possibilities for creating awesome sprite sheet animations for games. You'll be able to do more with less drawings. So stay tuned. We're about to take this image and use Stable Video 3D to generate reference views from different angles. This will help you build your character in 3D with ease, taking all the guesswork out of translating your cool drawing into a just as cool 3D model. Stable Video 3D comes in two versions on Hugging Face. For our goal of building a 3D turnarounds, we'll use SV3DU. This version excels at creating turnaround videos from a single image. The SV3DP offers orbiting functionality, but might not yield optimal results for your artwork. Click Download and place the model in your Stable Diffusion Models folder. It'll be our tool to transform this drawing into a solid 3D model. SV3DP offers orbiting functionality by using elevation to adjust the camera angle for its rotation. This can lead to lower quality results for artwork. Let's keep all other settings as default, so SV3DU is the way to go. Then get started transforming this drawing into a 3D turnaround. This model uses the familiar case sampler node, which you might recognize from other stable diffusion projects. While you can play around with values, the defaults produce good results. For even better quality, I've increased the number of steps the model takes to create the image. To boost the quality of the final image, I've added a highly recommended upscale image node. This increases the resolution of the output. Here, it's set to 1024 by 1024, but feel free to crank it up for even more detail. The processed images are sent to the image node, where it's collected as a group of sprites. Click the button to begin the process of creating a 3D rotation for your own character. This process will transform your character into a rotating 3D animation using the SV3DU model. The final output is conveniently saved as a WebP file, perfect for sharing online. But if you prefer an MP4 video file, simply swap the WebP node with a video node instead. Click on any frame in the sequence, and it will expand for a closer look. Use the button in the lower right corner to step through and inspect the entire animation frame by frame. Check out these frames. They're a great way to see how your 2D art translates to 3D, or even plan how to trace and add detail. Let's build a turnaround reference, jump into Photoshop, knock out that background from your original image with the Remove Background button. Right-click the mask and hit Apply to lock it in. Now we have a clean image with an alpha ready to go. Copy this and paste this into a new file. We'll take your original image and scale it, then reposition in this new file. This creates a reference sheet that shows your character from all sides to help you and others understand your character better. This same process can be used to make sprite sheets for your games, creating the grid cells for your character's animations. Head back to Comfy UI and grab another view. We'll need a few different angles for our reference sheet. Just click on any frame to preview it, then right-click and choose Open Image, which opens it in a new browser tab. Right-click again and Copy Image to grab it. Now, switch back to Photoshop and paste that copied image onto your reference sheet. We'll repeat this process a few times to get all the angles we need. Click the Remove Background button, resize and position the image and repeat this several times to grow your reference sheet. If pressing the Remove Background button results in a little too much being removed, like in this case part of the shoe disappeared, you can correct this. Select the Brush tool, which is the B key. Make sure your foreground color is set to white. Then go to the Layer Palette. Click on the thumbnail on the right side of the current layer, which is the mask. Paint in the areas that disappeared with the paintbrush and now the missing parts reappear. Repeat this process several times. Selecting frames from Comfy UI and pasting those full-size frames into the reference file in Photoshop. You may need to resize the canvas, which is under the image menu and select canvas. Type in a new size to grow the canvas to give yourself more room to lay out your images. 
You can also create a rotation reference to get more details on items of the character that you want to study, trace, or use as a 3D detailed reference. Let's say you want a closer look at the shoes. In your original image, you can zoom in on the shoes, crop them out, and even use Photoshop's generative AI tool to fix any missing pieces. Once you have a clean close-up, jump back to Comfy UI and repeat the process to create a full rotation of just the shoes. The bigger the image, the clearer the details will be in the final images. This way, you can get a super detailed reference for any part or item from your character. Here's a handy shortcut. To save some steps, I resized the image node in Comfy UI and then just took a screenshot of all the output frames at once. Back in Photoshop, I opened that screenshot. Now, the fun part. Let's rearrange the frames to tell the coolest story about how the part is built. We want the frames to flow in a way that shows the construction process clearly. This will be a great reference for anyone wanting to bring that object to life in 3D or with sketching. Just seeing the model spin in Stable Diffusion can be a huge help. It gives you a much better sense of how your final drawing will look in full 3D glory. Here's the best strategy when 3D building. Use these images directly as a reference when modeling low polygon characters or objects. The 3D construction story begins with a cube, and this cube is extruded, transformed on the face level, and grown into the object. The images from the stable diffusion are used as references to guide you along your building process. This technique will work in Maya, Blender, 3D Studio Max, or any other tools that you enjoy. This gives you flexibility to make changes along the way. While high detail models are possible with Stable Diffusion, using these reference images puts you in control of building and refining your model. With high dense models, you spend a lot of time trying to tame the mesh and you are locked into a non-flexible result. The story of building a model is the story of understanding its volume and refining the volume to reveal the perfect representation of your character or object. Think of these images as blueprints for your 3D model. They'll tell the story of your character's volume. Use them as reference points as you build, checking your progress at each step. Focus on one feature at a time, like clothing or accessories. Continuously rotate your model while you create, referring back to the stable diffusion images to stay true to your original vision. This will ensure your 3D model matches your initial sketch perfectly. Going beyond 3D, art matters. Whether you're a budding 2D artist or a seasoned pro, understanding a character's volume, even in a raw sketch, is crucial. Create the assets you need with a little help from this process and bring viewers into your hand-drawn-like story, whether as a comic or a game. When your character moves through the narrative, new realms of imagination open. Stable Diffusion's SV3D U process lets you, the creator, see your sketch in a whole new way.